Thompson Creek's Mount Milligan Mine is located within the Omanica Mining District in north-central British Columbia. It is approximately 155 kilometers northwest of Prince George and 86 kilometers north of Fort St. James. The mill is a 60,000 ton per day concentrator employing conventional grinding and flotation processes to produce a marketable product containing copper, gold, and silver. Specifically, the process facilities will consist of a primary crushing plant, a coarse ore stockpile, a sag and ball mill grinding circuit, a rougher flotation circuit, two regrind circuits and a cleaner flotation circuit, a gravity circuit, a concentrate dewatering and filtering plant, and a concentrate loadout facility. The primary crushing plant is a conventional gyratory crusher facility designed to crush runoff mine ore. This facility will also be equipped with a rock breaker to break oversized rocks and a dust suppression and dust collection system. The coarse ore stockpile will hold a total of roughly 277,000 tons, or approximately five days of feed. Normal operation will pull ore from the stockpile with reclaim feeders. However, dozers and or loaders will be required to reclaim all of the ore from the stockpile and feed the grinding circuit during the scheduled relining of the primary crusher or prolonged non-delivery of ore from the mine. The grinding circuit will consist of one sag mill and two ball mills. Ore will be fed to the sag mill which operates in closed circuit with a double deck vibrating screen and the pebble crushers. Oversized material will be conveyed to the pebble crushers. The pebble crushing facility provides a system to recycle unground pebbles from the sag mill, crush them to minus 16 millimeters, and convey them back to the sag mill feed conveyor. Undersized material from the screen will gravity flow to a ball mill pump box where it is mixed with the discharge from both ball mills. Each ball mill will operate in closed circuit with a cluster of cyclones that will be operated to produce the optimum product size. Initial separation of the sulfide minerals from the non-sulfide gang minerals will be done in two lines of rougher flotation tank cells. This circuit will produce two separate flotation concentrate products. A higher grade of copper rougher concentrate from the first two cells, and a lower grade copper rougher scavenger concentrate from the rougher scavenger cells. The rougher and rougher scavenger flotation concentrates will be reground separately to take advantage of the difference in the optimum liberation sizes of the copper minerals in each product. This will also reduce operating cost. Following the regrind unit operations, the copper bearing streams are upgraded through three stages of cleaner cells. The final flotation product is a high grade copper concentrate suitable for sale to copper smelters. A 12 meter thickener and a pressure filter are used in combination to reduce the moisture content of the concentrate to 8% prior to shipping. The filter discharges the product to the loadout area. A loader will be provided for loading concentrate onto a conveyor system which can weigh and meter concentrate into trucks for shipment to our customers worldwide. The facility will incorporate the latest technology and advanced control techniques including vision and acoustic systems to monitor the process. Centralized control will be implemented between the mine and mill to optimize resource, ensuring product quality.